I played a live show for the first time in over 500 days, and it was in front of 20,000 people. What well, could go wrong? So the last time I played a show was when I was on tour with I Prevail in Europe. We had just walked off stage in Germany and then basically were immediately told that our entire tour was canceled and we had to fly home as soon as possible. That was in March of 2020 and since that time, I have not stepped on a single stage or even played another note with another musician in the same room. So the thought of playing a live show again with other people in front of other people is basically a completely foreign concept to my brain at this point. But I Prevail booked a last minute slot onto the Blue Ridge Rock Festival in Virginia, in which we had a week and a half of rehearsals to prepare. And did I mention I had to play a full drum solo? Yeah, so going from playing drums alone in my studio for the past year and a half to playing a solo in front of 20,000 people, Holy crap, I needed to prepare and I needed to prepare fast. Okay, so here's the deal. We are three days away from my first show in a year and a half, a little bit more than that. And we have had, what, four band practices with the full band and two out of the four of those practices, I messed up my drum solo. That is a 50% success rate that I'm not okay with. Now, some people ask me sometimes, Gabe, how do you not freak out when you're on stage? Well, sometimes I do and it doesn't go well, so that's why I don't want that to happen. But ultimately what I do is repetition. That is the key. So I have a drum solo to do here and I need to really repeat the crap out of this thing. So my goal is to try to play this drum solo 50 times before this show in three days. But I actually only have my kit for the next two days. So 25 drum solos a day, let's see what happens. <laughs> 10 times through and I am very sweaty. I feel a little bit cleaner on it, but I definitely need to do it more than 10 times, which is a testament to how important more and more repetition can be. And also now I'm trying to get inside the mindset of not just being like, hey, Gabe, you're playing you know, in the studio. I'm trying to pretend like, hey, out here into this void is a crowd full of people in which I have not seen again in a year and a half. So I'm trying to get there mentally as well as physically and uh, we'll keep working at it. 24 hours later. I took my kit to rehearsal yesterday, so I have nothing else to work on the other 40 times through the solo on. But if we go upstairs, <laughs> we will see, oh, this is embarrassing. I can't believe I'm showing you this. An absolute disaster. But there is the Pearl Emerge kit here in the corner and we will run the rest of this solo, the rest of the 40 times through the solo on this e-kit. So let's get into it. Again. Okay, so I didn't quite hit my goal of practicing the solo 50 times. I, in fact, only got 50% of the way there and practiced it 25 times. I think 50 would have been honestly the perfect number to hit. I think that would have put my mind at ease that much more, which really goes to show you the power of preparation and repetition in which I wish I would have done more of. So learn from my mistakes here, but Practicing it 25 times still did help me feel a lot better. And that is 25 times through perfectly. If I ever made a mistake, that didn't count. I had to repeat it. But now that I had some rehearsals under my belt and some solo rehearsals under my belt, it was time to head to the show. choice and 
put a 20 inch crash symbol in my carry-on luggage. Nope, it wasn't carry-on. I checked it. So uh, let's let's see what happens. All right, I tried to pad it as much as I could with hoodies and shirts. Let's see what we got here. I think it looks pretty good. Great job, Lionel. You did it again. Well, it's show day, and as you would imagine, I do a bunch of cool stuff beforehand to try to prepare for, you know, playing my first show in so long. All right, we are T minus five hours from the drum solo. And if I'm being totally honest, I am nervous, but hopefully I can uh, get there mentally. It's really just a mental game, right? I know that I've put in the work. I know that I can play it because I created it. So then what is there to be nervous about? That's kind of a good thought. So maybe I'll keep thinking about that, but <laughs> yeah, no, I'm definitely feeling the pressure. It's been a long time since since I've done anything like this. And with that comes a lot of different emotions for a multitude of different reasons. <laughs> I wanna focus on being excited, not just being nervous. I'm gonna do my best to go out there, have a good time, and you'll probably see how I did here in a few seconds, but for me, it's gonna be a few hours, so. Let's go do it. Now the really hard thing about playing a festival is that you get no time for a sound check to make sure that everything is right and set up the way you want or anything. You basically show up and walk out on stage and hope to God that everything is set up the way that you need it to be. And as the show got closer and closer, I tried to warm up, stretch my limbs, and really get my mind right to do this thing that I haven't done in so long without getting totally overwhelmed by nerves or just by any new experiences. Now the hard part for me a lot when drumming live is making sure that I maintain my technique and that I'm able to do adequate warming up to make sure that I can walk out on stage and do exactly what I need to do. And some of the most important exercises that have really helped me get better in this area are in my free course, The Hand Speed Challenge. This is a free five day course dedicated to helping you get faster hands in just five days by improving your technique, control, and speed with your hands on the drum set. Like I said, this is a totally free course. People love it and get serious results and serious speed in their hands. So if you wanna check it out, you can click right up here to get the free course. But yes, after warming up and doing all that stuff that I just talked about, it was time to play the show. Walking out onto that stage felt amazing. <laughs> as soon as we played the first note together, it was like things started to click. Yes, there was nerves in the beginning, but I they kind of left me because I was reminded of how much fun it is to play music with other people. I love playing the drums so much. And then when I'm able to play with other musicians, it elevates it that much more for me. So it was kind of an amazing reminder of, yeah, this is why I do this. There's just something so magical about playing music with other people where you're all looking around and everything just feels right. It felt like I was exactly where I was supposed to be. And outside of a, a couple little tiny nervous mistakes in the first song, things really started to come together and I was feeling amazing. And then the drum solo came up. It's one of those things where as soon as you start the song that the solo is in, your heart is beating a little bit faster. And so I'm trying to conserve energy. I'm not putting as much energy into the drums because I don't wanna be out of breath by the time my solo comes up. And so here's what happened. <laughs> I'd like to bring it down for just one minute. Gather your attention to the drum kit. Everybody make some noise for my good friend, Gabe Rakea!
friggin' did it! Yes! I felt really, really good about the solo. All the, all the fears of me dropping a stick in the middle of it and being absolutely screwed as I'm playing like 30 second notes around the drum set. Actually, they're 16th note triplets, but you get it. None of that happened. I felt really good about it and it was just fun. I, I had a blast. I was hopped up on adrenaline afterwards and I was able to enjoy the rest of the set knowing that I had that down. Once I walked off stage, I, I felt really amazing. Honestly, I felt like that was such a cool and incredible experience. I'm incredibly grateful that I had the opportunity to do it. I immediately wanted to keep doing that. I wish that I could keep playing for more people, but that will come soon and uh, yeah. That was really fun. If you have any questions about this whole experience, let me know in the comment section below. And if you think I did okay on my drum solo, <laughs> please give this video a like, cause again, it made me feel better. And if you wanna get faster hands in just five days by improving your technique, control, and speed with your hands, go ahead and sign up for my totally free course, the Hand Speed Challenge, right up here. Thank you so much for watching this video as always. Hopefully I will see you at a show sometime sooner than later. Stay true, and I will talk to you very soon. Bye.